in Christ and for choosing us to be your people. As we come to the end of this school year, we thank you for all the good things you have done in us. And we praise you for all who have shared in the work of this school. We ask that you bless them in your love and give them renewed strength and peace. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The scripture lesson is taken from Romans chapter 15, verses 5 to 6 and 13 to 14. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I myself am convinced my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and competent to instruct one another. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 148. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all his hosts. 
Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea creatures and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous winds doing his will. Mountains and all winged birds, kings of the earth and all people. Princes and all rulers of the world. Young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, Bulldogs. Welcome to our last chapel for this school year. We are grateful for our journey over the last three years of trying, transformational, and trailblazing times. If you will recall, three years ago, at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March of 2020, all face-to-face -face school activities were canceled, and we resorted to creative ways of keeping curiosity, connection, and community alive. We were all still on survival mode getting teaching and learning done online, learning Google Classroom, of surviving through lockdowns, and keeping ourselves safe from catching the virus. Those were very trying times. Last school year, we developed coping and thriving skills that empowered us to transform face-to-face -face activities into effective virtual ones. We were able to teach and learn effectively, even online, we were able to celebrate many of our bread traditions. We learned best practices in learning and teaching. We became altogether learners for life. Those were transformative times because we were even more curious, more connected, more courageous, and more committed lifelong learners. This school year, since March 3, we have been together in a high flex or the hybrid flexible format. We sustained new traditions and persevered. And I want us all to pause and think about what we have accomplished so far and what more we can accomplish together when we settle into a better new normal next school year. What trailblazing times we have been in because we now have new ideas, new methods, innovative ways on how we could live with and through a pandemic. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? And I'd like to put a name to this nice feeling. And this feeling is a feeling of hope that we all worked hard to have. So I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you who have contributed to making this school year a year of abounding in hope. What you will see in a minute are snapshots of how each and every one of us has given each other reason to hope. As one Brent family, let us celebrate, let us be grateful for these trying yet transformational and trailblazing times. Let's continue to inspire each other as we look forward to many more years of Brent School Bagu. Let's continue to demonstrate that we are tolerant individuals lifelong learners, technologically literate, critical thinkers, effective communicators, healthy individuals, and responsible citizens. Thank you, and may God bless us all.
For the Brent Schools Board of Trustees, for Mr. Dick Robbins, our President and CEO, Mr. Brett Petrillo, our Headmaster, Dr. Celeste Angler, our Principal, the Coordinators, the Department Heads, Faculty and Staff, Organizations, Parents, Alumni, and the whole student body, that they may always show us leadership, love, and compassion, and teach, bless, guide, and protect us in our daily life and work. For all who contribute their time and talent to the school, especially the teachers, office, and maintenance staff, the guards, Brentonians, and alumni, that their service to the school and to you may help us know and do the message of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that you will enable and empower our school ad administrators to be positive role models for our teachers, parents, and students. As they support us, may they continue to be approachable, friendly, and professional. Give them an understanding of each teacher's unique gifts, capabilities, and abilities so that they can assign each each one to responsibilities that benefit the whole. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers to have patience and wisdom when dealing with the students. Allow them the opportunity to listen. We pray that students will be respectful and open, and open to listening to their teachers. As teachers seek realistic solutions to improve each student's academic performance. Make students aware that the school is working in their best interests. We also pray that your grace may be sufficient in times of need for our teachers and schoolmates who are moving on. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the office and maintenance staff as they perform a difficult task. Please send them motivational messages and will relieve them of stressful workloads that prevent them from spending quality time with their families and friends. Show them how to keep physically active while also relieving stress in a healthy way. During their lowest moments, make them feel loved and welcomed by you. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, for every relationship most dear to us, that you would guard our time and our lives together. We ask for your ability to quickly forgive hurts, for a, for a renewed heart of compassion for love and faithfulness to be evident in every decision and action. We ask for your help to set aside our differences and help us to truly live a life of love. Lord, hear our prayer. You alone, Almighty God, are the source of health and healing. There is calm and true peace in you. Give us all, give every one of us a sense of your presence and complete trust. Teach us how to surrender ourselves to your never falling care. Knowing that your love and power surrounded us and relying in your wisdom and providence to give us health, strength and peace when it's the best for us. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing you have given to our lives. You have provided us with more than we could have ever imagined. You have surrounded us with people who always look out for us. You have given us family, teachers, classmates, and friends who bless us every day with kind words and actions. They lift us up in ways that keep our eyes focused on you and make our spirits soar. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we near the close of the school year, we thank you for allowing us to be part of everyone's lives at Brent. May we 
Always remember that our actions have an influence and that our words have power. We thank everyone who has contributed to the school's nutrient and progress, both in and out of the classrooms. We, we give thanks for the new growing friendships, for the faith that has sustained us through our daily challenges, for the hope that has lifted in our hearts, and for the love that has kept us going. Pour out your love on us so that we can return renewed and ready to continue our journey together in our magic mountain. This we pray in, our, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.